welcome to Rupa's online tutorials. In today's session, I am going to tell you how to state and prove De Morgan's theorem. This question comes in chapter 2, Boolean Algebra. This question is you asked for 5 marks, okay, and then you have to need to prove both the theorems, or sometimes only one theorem is asked for 3 marks. Uh, it has to it can be proved algebraically or through the truth table. In this video session, I am going to tell you how to do it algebraically. In my next session, I will tell you how to do it through truth table. So, when this question is coming as state and prove De Morgan's theorem, the first step that you need to do is to write the statements. What I have observed is many students do not write the statement at all. So, please write these two statements. The first theorem states that x plus y the whole complement is equal to x complement and y complement and the second theorem states that x and y the whole complement is equal to x complement plus y complement. Now let us first prove this and then we will go to the second uh, part of the theorem. So now if you see here I have given this question here. So when they say sometimes they may just say state and prove De Morgan's theorem or they may specifically say prove it algebraically. So when this question comes like this okay so you need to use three laws to do this particular theorem. So for this we will be using the complementary laws that is x plus x complement is equal to 1 okay. So x plus x complement is equal to 1 and x and x complement is equal to 0. We will also use the distributive law that is x plus yz is equal to this x plus y into x plus z and we use the associative law to prove this x and x complement equal to 0 x into yz it is just rearranged as xy into z. So now we will see the first theorem we will prove the first theorem. So to prove the de Morgan's first theorem we use the complementary laws that is x plus x complement equal to 1 and x and x complement equal to 0. Now we are going to assume that we are going to take one more variable p and we are going to tell that p is equal to x plus y and because p is x plus y when we take compl p's complement p complements become x complement and y complement. Now we are using this complementary laws. See uh, it is a mathematical derivation. So here what is given in your scope of study we are doing that part of it. Uh, so here we are going to prove this instead of x plus x complement equal to 1 we are going to prove that p plus p complement equal to 1 and p and p complement equal to 0. That is for all the values in a boolean algebra we have only two values that is 0 and 1. So for that two values okay the or operation and, and operation when it is satisfied we are saying that this particular theorem is that is x plus y the whole complement equal to x and y x complement is equal to x complement and y complement. Okay. So first we will prove the first part of this theorem. So now we have to prove that p plus p complement is equal to 1. So as I said earlier we are using the complementary laws. We also assume that p is equal to x plus y and p complement we got it as x complement and y complement. So here if you observe I have used the distributive law here. So x plus y z okay here x plus y z can be written as x plus y and x plus z. So this x is getting distributed for here. But in our case what is happening here, here if you observe we are writing here x is equal to here this x. Okay, this x is nothing but x plus y for us and here y z, y is nothing but here the x complement okay uh, and here the x complement y is equal to x complement and the z here is equal to y complement. So you just need to know this and then we are going to do the substitution. So you can see here I am just going to do it now. Um, let me see this particular thing. So here some here what is x plus y for me x plus y is nothing but x here. So here I need to do the distributive law so x plus y. So I can't write here x because x value is x plus y here. So I will just write it as x plus y okay and then plus okay plus y what is y for me it is x complement so i write here plus x complement and then x plus z so this is into x plus z again what is x for me it is x plus y so i'll write the x plus y and z z is what for me here it is y complement so i will write it as y complement so this is how we need to do the expansion so here i'm just going to rearrange everything okay i'll just write it as it is i'll remove the brackets x plus y 
plus x complement x plus y plus y complement now we know that x plus x complement is equal to 1 so i just going to rearrange here so we can just see here x plus x complement plus y and here it's already rearranged for us x plus y plus y complement so here what we're going to do we're going to say x plus x complement is 1 so we'll write here 1 or y okay i'm substituting and this will be x plus 1 now we know that 1 plus x okay is equal to 1 that is 1 or 1 okay 1 or 0 or 1 or 0 or 1 everyone giving me 1 so this will be 1 so 1 and 1 and we also know that 1 and 1 is 1 so this is 1 which is equal to the right hand side okay so this is not visible here sorry so you can see here i have written here x plus x complement just rearranged here so i have written x plus x complement plus y so x plus x complement is equal to 1 substituted here so it is 1 plus y and x plus 1 so here according to the commutative law 1 plus y and y plus 1 is same so here you get 1 and 1 which is equal to 1 which is equal to the right hand side so we have proved this particular part p plus p complement is equal to 1 now we need to prove p and p complement is equal to uh, 0 isn't it we have to prove that p and p complement is equal to 0 so for this we are going to use this associative law so here if you see this x and y is put together and then the z is put out okay so here we are going to the first step what we're going to do is you can have this here so you can do this we can do a, a rearrangement of this okay so we're going to just uh, rearrange this particular statement so that it is easy for us to do the second part so here what i'm going to do is here please observe i'm just going to take the left hand side okay i'm going to put the x complement that is i'm going to put this first here x and y complement into x plus y okay now here for us if you see this now i'm just rearranging this so i will write it as x and y complement okay and then i'm just going to write the um, x okay i'm just going to write the x and then i have x and x complement y complement and the y okay so now uh, just a bit of rearrangement we will do here again because we know that x and x complement is 0 okay x and x complement into y complement okay uh, so let me put the plus here this plus okay this plus should be there and then what i'm going to write here i'm going to put here x complement and y and y complement so here x and x complement is what it is 0 so 0 and y complement plus this is x complement and 0 so 0 and y complement is 0 so 0 plus 0 is equal to 0 so which is equal to the right hand side so it is a uh, uh, little bit of thing but okay so it is just you're doing some rearrangements and then you are writing it okay so here we are using this particular laws okay so we are using these particular laws and we are proving it okay now um yeah so this is it so x and y complement and x plus x complement and y complement and y that is we have just distributed this to this and we have distributed this to this so we have just made these rearrangements here first step we have made this rearrangement of associative law and then we have used the distributive law uh, now let us prove the de Morgan second theorem. So the second theorem says that x and y the whole complement is equal to x complement plus y complement. And so if we prove like the same way where we take the value of p, here I have written x and y plus x complement plus y complement is equal to 1. Okay, so here we will take p is equal to x and y and p complement will be equal to x complement plus y complement. So, when we do p plus p complement is equal to 1 and p and p complement is equal to 0. The same thing here we are writing here. So, if you see this particular thing, okay. So, we need to prove these two uh, parts, okay. So, here if you see here, okay. So, the first part is 
x and y okay i have not put a dot here that is understood that it is x and y so x and y plus x complement plus y complement is equal to 1 so you take the right hand side so here also if you just see that i have done the rearrangement here first so x and y plus x complement plus y complement so again here we have written this first here x complement plus y complement and plus x and y Okay, and then we are just using these distributive laws. So we write this x plus y complement, x complement plus y complement as it is, plus x, and then this value plus y. Okay, and we know that x plus x complement is equal to one. So we use that here. So we write one plus y complement. See one or one, one or zero. Anything is going to be one. So one plus y complement will give you one. Similarly, x complement plus 1 will give you 1, which is equal to 1. So, this is done. Okay, now for the second part, here again, there the first part we were doing this kind of replacements. Here for the second part, we need to do that. So, we have to write here x into y plus z is given as xy plus xz. Okay, so we have to prove this x and y uh, in and into uh, x complement plus y complement is equal to 0. So, here if you see, I am going to do the substitution like what I did for the first theorem. Here x is nothing but x and y instead of x plus y and here y is equal to x complement and z is equal to y complement. So we will just substitute now. So here if you see here uh, this is of this form x into y plus z. Okay. So here as I said this is x y. So x is what for me? It is x and y into y into y is what? It is x complement. Again x z x is what for me x and y and z is y complement okay so now i'm just rearranging it okay x and x complement and here it is there already y and y complement so we already know that x and x complement is zero so this is zero and y okay and this will be what this will be zero and uh, sorry zero and x uh, yeah 0 and y and this will be 0 and x okay so <laughs> my pen ink is over so anyhow i'll write the same step again don't get confused so this is 0 and y and here i'm having x and 0 okay x and y and y complement is 0 okay so this is nothing but 0 and y 0 and anything okay other than 0 and 1 and 1 which will be 1 for other values 0 and 0 0 and y is going to be 0 and this is also 0 according to the boolean postulates so this will be equal to 0 which is equal to the right hand side so there are four uh, parts of this theorem which you need to study and prove okay uh, at least the first two parts become very thorough with that sometimes you can just write similarly it can be proved like this by just stating the uh, statement also uh, hope you have understood this theorem if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section below and if you like my video please share it and subscribe to your family and friends thank you